when I started self hacked my health improved a lot, very big changes, but I wasn't optimal. There were still a lot of things that were unclear, a lot of things that I wanted to optimize. A self-experimentation had its own problems, I realized. Uh, number one is it's very time consuming because you can only do one thing at a time and you have to take a mega dose of each one to really experience the effect of it. So you really can't do more than like one experiment a day and you know, if, if you really think about it, there's, there's just infinite number of experiments you could do, right? Maybe something works for you in the morning, but not at night and the afternoon. Like this diet combined with this supplement, I wasn't going to test everything. And so there needed to be a way to get better information to, you know, a compass in which to better understand what I needed to do next. So I needed a more precise approach and many of the experience did go wrong. Um, had some side effects sometimes when you're taking large doses of things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so at that point, you know, you, you can make a lot of improvements with just doing experimentation and learning, and, and I think that is uh, a, a great approach for everybody. Luckily, we're in the dawn of a new era where of big data, AI, machine learning, genomics, all the omics data, and advances in software that can give you a Rosetta Stone on how to analyze your blueprint and, and other precision health data, including blood work, your lifestyle. And so software can make that scalable and more uh, easy, more accessible for people who don't, you know, are not spending all day doing uh, experiments on themselves like I was. And so that's kind of what led me to DNA. I realized there needs to be software, not only for me, but for other people as well.